Hey guys, Mike Fulton here. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Revin. Welcome to On Deck, I'm Tyler Evan. While you're here, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and check out all my other videos so you can be updated on Braves content as we hopefully move through the year of 2020. Now, the Braves last night, this is the first news for a while that we've had on what the Braves are doing, what the Braves are gonna do. They drafted a guy named Jared Schuster, a six foot three, 210 pound left-handed pitcher out of Wake Forest. They drafted him in the first round, and it kind of threw a lot of people off. He was ranked number 77 on the MLB pipeline, and if that threw you off, I understand why, but take a second, let's read into it. If you were watching the draft last night, you may have heard Jim Callis speak on him, and it almost seemed like, if, by the way, if you don't know who Jim Callis is, Jim Callis is part of the guys who put the MLB pipeline together. Uh, he took full responsibility for this misjudgment, and it's all because of when this MLB pipeline was done. Had it been done more recently, Jared Schuster would have probably been ranked significantly closer to 25, if not 25 itself. Now, it almost seemed like Jim Callis called a mulligan on that pick, which made me feel a lot better. When I saw number 77, I was scratching my head a little bit, but now it kind of makes sense. And Mark Bowman also got the brave side of the story. If you go read his article, you can read more into it. But basically what it seems like from what I can tell, the Braves wanted to get a left-handed pitcher, and the quote from Dana Brown, who is the head scout of the Braves, he stated that an underslot signing could prove beneficial due to the added bonus pool flexibility the Braves may now have to pursue strong players in the final three rounds of this year's five-year draft. Now, the Braves lost their second-round draft pick when they got Will Smith last year, so they want to get those last three rounds to be strong. So. Basically, from what I can tell, the Braves aren't done. They want to do some damage in those later rounds since they don't have that second pick. But I want to focus on Schuster for a second. I want to kind of get, introduce you to him as best I can with the limited information that we have. But I'll tell you the numbers. I can tell you what's behind the, behind the guy. So the thing about Schuster I think that's most important is how much he's improved over the past year. Uh, his fastball alone has gone from ranging around 89 to 93 up to 91 to 95 and it's also touched 97 on a few occasions now with that said he really improved his command throughout the cape cod league that's what they were talking about on mlb network last night when they were highlighting him and throughout this year he's only walked four while striking out 43. that caught my attention he's got strikeout stuff if he can bring that to double a triple a and eventually into the big leagues the braves are in for a lot of success with him but what caught a lot of people's attention was his changeup. And he's also developing a slider, but his changeup is, is his biggest weapon. Now, when, when he was asked about the slider, he seemed confident. Uh, he basically, I'm just going to quote him too. He said, I'm not concerned with the slider. I know how hard I'm working on all of my pitches, and I know it's going to be just as good as the other pitches. So obviously, not a lack of confidence there. He seems to have it under control. He's really improving. I don't see him stopping anytime soon and I think it's going to bring a lot of good things to the Braves. I'm excited to have him as an Atlanta Brave, and I am excited to see how he does in his development towards the main roster. So potentially with Schuster being a college kid out of Wake, he's probably only two years away rather than four. So look for him to really make an impact sooner rather than later. We all saw how some of these younger guys made strides throughout spring training this year. He's not the 25th pick in the first round for no reason. I can't wait to see how he does. So with that said, that's going to wrap it up here at On Deck. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video so you can stay up to date with everything the Braves are doing. I'm going to keep you updated with everything they're doing in the draft as best I can. Uh, and hopefully, once we get to a season, fingers crossed, I'll keep you up to date with everything going on there. So that's all for me. I'll see you next time on Deck.